Do you want to get started in the real estate business fast, make a lot of money quickly, and get your first deal done? If so, you're going to want to nail your first 30 days in the business. And in this video, I'm going to share three keys to help you do exactly that. Hi there, my name is Tyler Royke. I help realtors personally develop, succeed in business, and ultimately move closer towards their purpose in life. And if there's anything I can do to help you, you can leave me a comment or find a link to my Instagram in the description and reach out to me on there. Now let's get to the three keys to help you nail your first 30 days as a real estate agent. The first key is to commit. Commit to becoming the very best that you can be. See, giving this a try is not the same thing as being committed. So don't try. Instead, commit to becoming the best you can possibly be in your market area. You're going to have to work hard at it, moving forward on this journey in the pursuit of excellence. And the moment you truly commit, everything changes. Because you show up differently, and as a result, the way people react and respond to you changes. And you can show up with that mindset and level of commitment from day one. It's going to take time for the results to follow, but that commitment can make the difference between you actually having results and not have anything to show for the time that you do work in the business. So if you want it to be a successful journey, I would suggest that you commit from day one. You're going to work harder with more intensity, conviction, and passion. So just accept that fact, own it, don't try to go the easy way, but own that it's going to be hard work, but that it's going to have a result that is worthwhile of pursuing. Bottom line is your heart will shine through to others when you show up with commitment every single day. The second key to nailing your first 30 days as a real estate agent is to train like a pro. You've got to train as if your survival depended on it because quite frankly, it does if you want to succeed with this real estate license that you have now. Imagine how a professional athlete trains so you've got to train like a professional athlete for your first 30 days as a real estate agent. So take your working hours and spend 50% training and 50% in the game for your first 30 days in the business. And if you're going at this full time, commit 12 hours a day to your business. And if not full time, give it everything that you can. You're gonna wanna train and prep with intensity during that time that you're putting in. And if you want help breaking down these hours further, this next part's for you. Use the first hour to train and prepare. You're gonna wanna familiarize yourself with dialogues that you will be using to open and engage in conversation with other people and prospective clients who you can help at some point in time with their real estate needs. And as the days go on, you can also use this time to role play and even practice writing out your contracts. And as you get more and more familiar with opening dialogues, shift more of this first hour to familiarizing yourself with the contracts. Then the next four hours, it is game time. You're gonna to wanna to actively prospect and engage in conversation with other people. During this time, make it a point to bring up real estate at some point during the conversation and collect as many contacts as possible. This is a game where you wanna have as many conversations, as many reps as possible, and don't worry about if one goes great or if one doesn't. You're gonna to wanna to fail forward fast because that's the only way you're gonna grow and quite frankly, it's the only way that you're gonna get your business going. You having business coming in as someone who's fresh to the real estate business, it's not a matter of how many people you know, it's a matter of how many people know that you're the person when it comes to real estate. And in order for that to happen, you've gotta be constantly engaging in conversations with other people and bringing real estate into the conversation. And then the two hours after that is training time. Attend trainings, learn dialogues for prospecting, lead follow-up, pre-qualifying, even listing appointments, buyers consultations, and objection handlers. You're going to want to know the flow of conversation and really how to articulate your value to people you're talking to in situations that you can potentially help them in. Because, you know, that last four hours we spent, a lot of it's just engaging in conversation with other people. They may or may not be someone who you even have the opportunity right now to work with, but the point is that you are having conversations with other people because that's something you gotta be proactively doing and looking for that next opportunity and even, even more importantly, looking for that long-term opportunity, that seed that you can plant today 
and water and harvest in the future that's going to help you with your business longer term. It's all about these relationships that you're building, whether it's someone that needs your help today or not. But, you know, this next two hours, familiarize yourself with what you actually do in a situation where you're helping someone. So, you know, any trainings that you can attend and mastering the dialogues in terms of how things happen when you're in a situation that you can actually help someone who needs your help. And then the two hours after that, practice some more. This time strategies and systems, attend trainings related to that and implement strategies and systems to help you move your business forward in the time ahead. And then the hour after that, handle your office and administrative tasks. Any MLS searches that you need for a potential buyer, paperwork, etc., this hour is your time to get that in. So that's the schedule. Stick with it strictly for 30 days. If you do that, it will accelerate your business like nothing else. Now, let me address one thing. What if you land an appointment? Well, we left two hours out of that 12 I initially mentioned per day for client appointments or showing houses, anything related to helping someone who potentially needs your help. Because all those hours that you have playing, you know, those four hours that you're having conversations, that's not to have conversations with people you're already working with. Those are conversations with people you're not already working with, looking for opportunities that you can help someone. So that last two hours is when you actually do your job as a realtor when you have someone to help. and. Fact is, there's going to be days that require you to work more than 12 hours to get everything done, especially if you're sticking to this schedule to help you move your business forward faster. So commit to it. That's what I'd say about that. Commit to it because if you do, it will put you on the fast track towards building your foundation that will make you an unstoppable force in this business. And then the third key to nailing your first 30 days as a real estate agent is to believe that you can do this. Think of the people that you look up to in this industry, or better yet, think of the person that you desire to become through real estate. If you really think about it, I guarantee you that he or she does not think like average real estate agents think. He or she doesn't train like average real estate agents train, and he or she doesn't believe like average real estate agents believe. When you commit to the best, train like the best, this belief will become the reality of your life. So your commitment and actions today will fuel your belief or lack thereof, your disbelief. So which do you choose? You're a high performance vehicle. So are you going to fill your tank with premium every day? Or are you gonna fill it with regular? Premium is your level of commitment and training, which produces premium belief. And understand this, most other real estate agents are not going to understand you. Even your broker in all likelihood isn't going to understand. So don't do things that take you out of the process from training like a pro athlete trains and moving closer towards your goals. Get your mind right. Start thinking about success and feed your mind the right fuel. Surround yourself with other people who commit, train, and believe big. And you'll start believing it as you begin to consistently put in the work to get you there. So there you have it. That's how you nail your first 30 days as a real estate agent. If you're committed to nailing your first 30 days as a real estate agent, leave me a comment below and let me know anything that I can potentially do to help you in that process. And if you enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.